So from a policy perspective, um, you, you may recall we've done a number of uh, researches, uh, policy researches, researches from um, on, the on the intersection between women and technology. Um, one of those reports that we've done with the Internet Society and the Web Foundation, for instance, in 2020, and this is the one that you're referring to, where the First Lady has helped us launch, um, revealed that, for instance, that um, Namibia is one of the countries that has a gender digital gap that is leaning towards women. Like it's in the it's in the minus seven, but it's to the positives of women. Mm -hmm. So that means that there's a lot of women in Namibia who, in Namibia who are using technology. Uh, speaking from uh, a rural woman's background, because we actually have a movement where we are standing currently at 9,300 members, where the organization had been quite active in all 14 regions and uh, how it had been specifically COVID that have taught us mm. a very great lesson, I would say, and also given us opportunities to explore. As the world commemorates the International Women's Day under the theme Digital Innovation and Technology for Gender Equality, two influential figures in the tech industry are calling for more tech literacy training for women in rural areas. The issue of skills, especially for women in, in, in rural areas, is very, it's very much a need. Mm. Um, we are currently doing a national assessment on internet um, technology uh, and policy um, with uh, financial aid from UNESCO and with support from the Ministry of ICT, which is really a national um, assessment using a framework for UNESCO. And mm. So uh, skills is, is, mm. is a key issue. That's number one. But also cost and uh, cost to accessibility yeah. of mm. the internet. Data is very, very expensive in our country. Or specifically in the rural areas, our women still do not have access. Access to the facilities for them to be able to use, utilize spaces like computers, for them to you know, get access to internet. Connection is another one, because uh, we do find in deeper rural areas, like uh, in the Kunena regions, for example, there are some areas where there isn't network at all. And it makes it very difficult. For example, you would want to, to engage in a business that is online. You would like to get a scholarship, for example. These are opportunities that are bypassing our women in the rural areas, and they are not getting access to this. They are of the opinion that with more empowered and involved women in the industry, the possibilities for innovation and progress are endless. Nashilongo and Alumbungu also raised concerns about online safety and urged women to be vigilant against fake profiles, cyberbullying and online violence. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Ventuk.